Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So today, I'm just going to go through some of the pumps that we use in our RS systems. So this has been an ongoing uh, popular question for those who have been joining our courses. You know, some of them actually do ask us what sort of pumps are suitable for use in our RAS system. So just for those who are not familiar with our technology, so basically we run a crab farm, right? So the crab farm is actually being housed in condos like these and known as crab houses. And they are filtered through a series of filtration. So we, here we have a sand filtration and we have the pumps, UV filter and bio filter. So what you see over here is the pumps that we have been using in our farms. For those who have been diligently following our channel, actually we built this farm five to six years ago and we have been running this pump for the past five to six years. So as you can see, these pumps are responsible for pumping water through the filtration process and even some of them are used for aeration, for example, in the K1 region over here. And the other pump is responsible for pumping the water through the UV system and then back to the crab house. These pumps are actually 1.5 horsepower each and they are being run 24 hours every day, 7 days a week. So you can see for this one, this unit has been quite old. We've been running it for some time and we have done many rounds of servicing with these pumps. The flow rate of these pumps is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. And that depends on the pressure. However, one cannot adjust the flow rate based on the required flow. These pumps are also run on a three-phase power that is being supplied to the farm. To adjust the flow rate of these pumps, you will need valves like this to control the flow into the boxes. These pumps cannot be adjusted and they do have a certain flow rate given the pressure requirements of the systems. And this is not ideal given the fact that in some cases, you might require higher flow, which will require more energy, especially during post-feeding time. But sometimes you will require a lower flow if your water is really very clean. On the other hand, we do actually have a separate system where we use to quarantine the crabs and we use it for sale. And this has its independent own RAS system to maintain and keep the crabs healthy. Similar to the systems before, this system also requires a pump to maintain a flow rate to critical equipment such as sand filtrations and biofiltrations. So this is a comparison between the old pumps that we've been using. So for the last two years, we actually have acquired an older pump from a second-hand facility and we have actually kept this pump on our site just in case any of our current pumps require replacement. And this is comparing to the new pumps that we have actually bought for this new uh, system that you see over here. So this pump is actually also about 1.5 horsepower and it runs on a single phase power. So this is actually compatible with most of the farm electricity or farm uh, utilities on site. However, there's a drastic difference between how this pump can operate with other different pumps. One of the benefits of using this pump is that it has an inverter technology that in which you can vary the flow as of when do you need. So for example, in our cases, when do we have very high requirements for flow, we will then change the setting into a higher RPM by just simply clicking over here. So you can see, I can increase the RPM of the pump into 2850 RPM. I can then also change it to different settings like 21,000 RPM or I can bring it down to power saving mode to about 19,000 RPM. So this configuration is really ideal given the fact that we sometimes have to vary the flow according to how much crab we have inside the system and it's no point to cycle the water flow at a high rate if you don't have crabs as you see over here. So most of our crab tanks are empty because we have just sold them and it will get replenished by throughout the weekend. So when the crab is actually at a high stocking density over here, we will then increase the flow rate. This is mainly to reduce the utility or power cost that is a major item in the, in the crab farms. 
So hopefully this video helps to help you understand the type of pumps that we're using in our system. To summarize, we mainly use centrifugal pumps uh, in our systems, but some of them do have inverter technology so that we can save on flow as and when we do not need such a high flow rate through.